This video will provide an example of fitting a model to data by using least squares. So suppose that we have a few data points and we want to fit them to a straight line approximation. So our data is going to be provided as coordinates, that is x values and y values. So it'll be the set of x and y values, so will be 1.2 1.1 and so on shown here. So once again each point is an x-coordinate and its corresponding y-coordinate and we have six such points. We want to fit a line to this data. So it's going to be modeled by y is equal to mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So using the usual least squares formulation, we're going to get that we have a design matrix X times a parameter vector beta is equal to a solution vector Y. In this case, beta is going to be made up of the two parameters of the model, which is M and B. So we can then define our design matrix X by using the corresponding values in this model mx plus b corresponding to the parameters in the order that we have them in this beta vector. So the part that corresponds to m in our equation is going to be x, just the x values. So therefore this is going to start with the x values which are shown here. And the next column is going to be the values that correspond to the second beta parameter which is B and that's always going to be just one. So this will be a column of ones in our design matrix. And then our vector Y is going to be composed of all of the Y values. So from this we can see that if we multiply out X times beta equals Y we're going to just get six equations of the form mx plus b is equal to y. So now to solve this we're going to use our normal equations for least square solutions. So it will be x transpose x times beta hat, our best approximation of beta, is equal to x transpose y. By performing the calculations we can get that beta hat is equal to, once again, m and b, and that's equal to 1.0507 and negative 0 0.1433. This means that our model is y equals 1.0507x minus 0 0.1433. So this is the best fit line to the data that we have. Now if we also want to look at the error that's associated with this least squares fit, so the error is going to be obtained by looking at x beta hat and we can find that that's going to be equal to 1.12 and so on. So this is what we get when we multiply this out. These are the y values that are actually on our best fit line and we can see how they compare to the original y values that we actually had here. So they're pretty close but they're not exact as you can see by comparing them in their individual entries. From that, we can get that the error is equal to the distance between those original observed data points and the predicted data points. And performing this calculation, we get that the error is equal to 0 0.3109.